All right, guys, welcome to the course. You've heard about the Amazon Influencer Program. This course is about that. A lot of people are charging a lot for this information. Obviously, I'm going to be giving this information for free just to give you guys some value. Hopefully, you can take this with you and you can get started as well. Let's get into the video. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. I'll try to answer all the comments in the comment section. Now, let's get into it. All right, so this is what we're going to cover. We're going to talk about what is the Amazon Influencer Program why this business model, how you can get approved, the guidelines, and how you can scale to earn your first payout and scale up from 2K, 5K, 10K, and above. I know some people making 20K as well. I'm going to talk about my experience with the first year of doing this program and how I end up earning my first 5K. All right, before we get started, to look for more exclusive content for me, go to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, My Wealthy Habits. That's my handle. And feel free to share the course. Let's start a revolution and let's change people's lives together. I'm actually making this course because I'm getting a lot of questions and I actually want to share this more with my family members. I know my sister interested and my cousin as well, too. And it's hard to explain this just over 15 minutes of coffee so I decided to create this course just to help everyone get info on how this works and how they can do it warning this is the most important video in the entire course watch until the end of the video don't skip don't fast forward and pro tip you can watch the video at two times the speed it'll make it go a lot faster because this is going to be a lot longer video when we get into depth about the Amazon influencer programs, the whatnots, and how you can scale. So who's this for? This is for anyone who is struggling to make their first dollar online or someone that already has a business is looking for a side income to add to their portfolio or if you're just a brand new newbie and looking at different business models and want to do something where you don't have to put a lot of time into it and make money passively. All right, first we're going to start with testimonials. This is my buddy Stefan. Actually told him about this business model last year. He actually got started. And this picture here, he's a single dad. He's um, on vacation with his daughter here. Stefan was actually able to earn his first $700 on Amazon through this program. And he's uh, making $700 a month right now. He might be making more. And he was able to use his commissions to take his daughter on a trip, which is pretty nice. This is Bruce. Bruce is actually a retired vet from the Air Force. I had a chance to share this with him as well. Um, Bruce actually, I actually talked to Bruce about two weeks ago. He told me that he's already at 7K with his commissions with just a few months of doing this. And um, he actually took a break with it. So it's still making passive income every month, which is rolling in. So he wanted to thank me for that. And uh, big up to Bruce. This is Stephanie Brown. She ended up breaking her first $1,000. After a few months getting started, she was really excited and uh, posted this on her social media, just uh, sharing her journey and all that. And it's good to see Stephanie uh, succeed in this as well. You got all walks of life doing this and everyone's uh, pretty much creates their own story. You can put as much time as this as you want. Um, be honest, I'm not doing this. 10 to 12 hours a day. So what is the Amazon Influencer Program? So the Amazon Influencer Program, it um, first started off based out in the United States. Now it's opened up in a lot of other countries. I know Canada, UK, Australia, and it's opened up in a bunch of other countries now. You can basically just go to Google and type in Amazon Influencer Program and it has a list of all the countries 
that are qualified to do this and you can basically apply and do it in what country you want to do it in when you get approved in america you can actually apply for these other countries and you're approved automatically to do that so it's nice to know that as well so why this business model well it's pandemic free and if another pandemic ever hits knock on wood sales will go up as well and customers just like the last pandemic everyone went online more and a a lot of online shopping spiked and it's still going up as well we'll get into the stats later there's a no inventory and there's no shipping you don't have to worry about shipping products out opposite from an amazon seller no customer service which is pretty nice amazon deals with all that we don't have to worry about customer not liking products etc and there's no upfront capital to get started it's basically free to start guys which is pretty sweet as well all right we're going to talk about some uh, quick stats about amazon this is from a website called amz scout amz scout is pretty much a product database that uh amazon sellers use to do research and stuff like that and it says here that amazon has over 600 million products listed on their marketplace which is a lot of products i know um you get a lot of you get a lot of questions here and there like is it saturated is it going to be saturated well this gives you the answer right here there's over 600 million products on the marketplace and i still see products every day that need videos and there's always new sellers on amazon like every day so it's enough for everyone to eat here all right so the next stat we have here is about amazon's revenue and income so how much does amazon make in one day you guys are not going to believe this it's 1.4 billion sales per day and how much does amazon make per second 16.3 million sales per second that's a lot a lot of sales there last statistic here amazon uh 2024 we're going to talk about the prime members worldwide there's 230 million prime members worldwide and then the number of prime members in the united states is predicted to reach up to 171.8 million in 2024 so as you see it's still growing up to the top everyone shopping on amazon there, there's a lot of commissions to be made and it's not going anywhere so for the amazon influ influencer program to be an amazon influencer you don't need no huge following or audience amazon will send you free traffic to all your content so you don't need to invest in ads which is nice as well you don't need to send out emails to a huge email list and you don't have to be a savvy salesman and I'll get more to depth why not as we go through these slides Amazon knows that video content from original people called UGC which is means user generated content sells products better than ads Amazon also knows with the uptrend of UGC content millennials and Gen Z are making their buying decisions from some type of influencer they follow uh, like for example I know there's a lot of uh, influencers doing short form content on social media sharing products and the benefits of all these products and sometimes well I have an example like one time I was scrolling on what well, this happens like a million times daily worldwide but I was scrolling on a uh, TikTok, I saw some type of a uh, scrubbing tool and I was actually talking about it before and actually it seen the video actually remind me to go get it so eventually yeah I caved in and got it <laughs> so what does Amazon do
they start putting video content from ordinary people directly on their product listings and home pages to increase sales. And have you seen this recently? Here are some examples of content that's directly on Amazon. As you see here, it's almost like the YouTube like, but there are product reviews and we have a person actually here going live, doing live streams, sharing the multiple products at once. Here's some examples. I know here's some more examples of content posted directly on Amazon. As you see this product listing here, you see there's a bunch of videos right here. Some from the company, but mostly from Amazon influencers sharing their value and how much they like the product. And here's the last example of videos posted directly on Amazon right here. So with Amazon dealing with traffic generation, video views, sales, and all that commissions are guaranteed to their content creators, which is pretty sweet. As you see there, in 2022, Amazon spent over $20.6 billion in ads. That's just going up as well as we speak. So let's get this free traffic. And you can also do this without showing your face. I know there's a lot of people they don't like social media because they don't like to put their face out there. I completely understand that. And this is a good way that you can earn from home without showing your face as well and without posting on social media. So here's an example here. This is a product I bought. It's a mini stepper. Bought this last year for my cousin for $75. What was crazy about this, I posted a quick review about it. And I made my money back and more within a few months of posting my review. The video had no edits and it wasn't like super polished down and it was only like 90 seconds long. So next we're going to talk about how you get paid. So whenever someone watches your video and it makes a purchase of a product in that category within 24 hours, you will earn a commission. So now we're we're not sure or not, but I've heard this for a lot of other influencers. We think it's 20 seconds of your video, but it could be some type of ratio because if the video is less than 20 seconds, then you can still earn commission. And this could happen 24 seven while you sleep. So getting paid from Amazon, once you're approved, you don't get your first payout until 60 days out because they pay every two months back because they have to track the orders. And if someone does a return, they have to track that, too. So they don't they don't do them in real time. You get paid for two months before. So if I get paid in March from Amazon, I'm getting paid for my production in January. Hope that makes sense. This isn't just an Amazon thing. There's other markets that are doing it as well. I know uh, Walmart rolled out a creator program, Target, and yeah, I know TikTok did as well. And uh, there's going to be others coming out for content creators. So you can spread all over the place if you like to with uh, video content and reviews. All right, next we're going to talk about how to get approved. With getting approved, there's levels to this. And there's uh, two barriers of entry that you need to go through to get in the right way. First, we're going to talk about level one, what's required. So you need to be active on social media or have some type of social media account. With just some type of following, it doesn't have to be huge. And the accounts have to be either from TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram, and Facebook. And I put these in order because some are 
The one at the top is easier than the one at the bottom. From easier to the hardest. So M- the Amazon Associates theory, um, I think that will help get you pushed through if you have an Amazon Associates account, which is pretty much the tracking for your commissions. <clears throat> Don't mind my throat. And the lowest I've seen get approved for the Amazon Influencer Program is someone with 120 followers. But again, you don't have to have millions of followers. You don't need to be a celebrity like Mr. Beast. Or you don't need to be a Kardashian or anything like that. What Amazon is looking for is just a real person with some type of engagement. Again, it's not about followers. It's about engagement. When I say engagement... It's about likes, uh, views, and shares. So if you focus on engaging content, you can easily get approved from this within a couple weeks. If you're starting from scratch. <clears throat> okay, I've seen approval with some faceless accounts. Some faceless like social media accounts. But now I would advise you to show your face just for a better chance of approval. Because the Amazon just wants to know if you're a real person and that you're active online. That's pretty much it. They want to make sure you're not a robot. <clears throat> so I'm going to give you some ideas for strategy if you're not active on social media. I would say focus on some type of theme page. Around some type of niche like beauty and fashion, Star Wars is a good niche. Pets, dogs, cats. I don't know if you have a rabbit, turtle, sports. And then quotes niche, psychology niche. You can easily post like 10 second videos with like powerful quotes and just have like music in the background or you just like drinking coffee or just sitting outside or some type of scenery. You can find popular quotes easily by going on YouTube and just, t- just type in uh, daily quotes. And there's like big channels that post shorts and they have millions of views. They're like relationship quotes, lifestyle quotes, like all types of quotes. And make it simple, guys. It don't have to be super polished down, fancy type of social media posts. I feel like we live in a time where social media is like it's too easy to post videos now. Like I remember when YouTube first came out, you have to like kind of be a lot creative, but now it's just you post simple short form content and get some engagement fast. So again, you can apply as many times as you want. I'm going to talk about what I would do. If I was starting from scratch, I would start with TikTok because you can earn the fastest with this. You can post this content daily. And you need to be patient for one to two weeks. And then I will boost my most viral content by throwing 10 to 15 bucks on it for two days. All right. Now we're going to talk about level two. Once you get in, you're going to get your storefront. And the goal is to get past level two so we can get on-site commissions. So when I say on-site, that means earning on Amazon, not off-site. To get approved for level two, you only need three videos, three review videos. Post it to your storefront. And it usually takes 7 to 11 days. Sometimes they get to you faster. But again, just be patient. And these videos only need to be 1 to 2 minutes. I remember when I first got started, I got approved for the first level. And then I got the storefront. And I was po- I posted like 20 videos right away. Which made the the time longer for them to approve me. I did not get approved. And then I found out you only need three videos. So just sit, sit the three videos there. Let it sit. 
and don't do anything else. But while you're waiting around, I would uh, optimize your storefront, put your picture up there, and your banner, and all that good stuff. All right, now we're going to talk about what to review for your first three. You do uh, outdoor furniture, like patio chairs, table, stool. You can review tools, kitchen items, and automotive products. Pet products, like physical products, like a pet bed or something. You don't you, you want to stay away from potions and lotions or no medical advice. Just stay away from that stuff. Again, we're not medical doctors here, and Amazon would not approve that. Or right, thumbnails. You can either put your face on the thumbnails or you can go facelit, faceless. Um, For my first three, I was faceless for my thumbnails. I pretty much just took a picture of the product. Right here is a vice grip that I got approved for. Basically, just uh, took a picture of the product, brightened the picture, and then I put like a little bit of text. You don't have to, but. And then I put a red arrow to the product. Going forward, it's really up to you. I know like some people like to put their face in the thumbnails, but that's if they're going to be in the videos or not. And then some people don't use thumbnails at all. Amazon actually picks like 15 seconds into the video and they'll use that as a thumbnail. But like me, I like to use thumbnails because it really helps uh, my storefront look more professional and it helps with uh, securing brand deals that I'm going to talk about later. So if you don't get approved, don't freak out. You got two more times. So you get up to three times to apply for the level two. And then after that, um, your account gets shut down. And then you have to apply with another social media page. So you get three tries at this. Unlike, unlike level one where you can apply unlimited times. And again, be patient. How to create these videos. You can either use a cell phone or a camera. I like to use a cell phone because it's a lot faster for me to edit it. Horizontal versus vertical. Um, I would advise I would advise horizontal for your first three. Then after that, it's up to you. I make most of my commissions on horizontals. I advise everyone to do horizontal videos. But I know Amazon has a kind of TikTok uh, platform on there called Inspire, where they take vertical videos. You can get a lot of traffic from that. But I've not heard of a lot of people making a lot from vertical. So make sure you have good lighting. You want them to be able to see the product that you're reviewing. And also you want to have good audio. Your phone can work too. And you can get little lavier mics. Hook it up to your shirt if you want to. If you're going to be in the video. And you're kind of far away from the camera. Um, those aren't too expensive. They're pretty cheap as well. I use CapCut for editing. It's a free mobile app you can put on your phone. And then if you're editing in a loud area, maybe a dog's barking or kids running around or you have, um, just music in the background, <clears throat> you can always mute your videos and do voiceovers. I do that a lot too. And then um, if I edit on my computer, I use a program called Femora. There's a free trial with this, but there's a lot of other free editors out there that you can use as well. You don't have to spend any money on the editor. So we're going to talk about what not to do in your first three videos. Um, do not give out personal information. You don't want to give out like your address, stuff like that. Because your video will, will get denied. No alcohol. Uh, do not tell customers to buy. Again, we're shooting review videos. We're just talking about the product and then just recommending the product. And do not say the price because Amazon changes the prices daily. If you're if you ever been on Amazon, you would know like they have a lot of seasonal specials, Prime Day, holiday specials. It's yeah, it's up and down like all the time. Um, I would advise not put the kids in the first three videos. But after you get approved, you can put kids in the videos, but they were. They would rather have a, an adult in the video with a kid. 
But I, I usually tell people to try to stay away from keeping kids' videos at all, just for um, chances of getting a video t taken down. And if you don't like the product, don't review it. <laughs> Pretty easy on that. <laughs> so what to do, do in your first three videos? You want to name the product. Like this is the portable blah, blah, blah. This is the water bottle. This is the hand weights. Tell why you got the product. I got this because blah, blah, blah. Talk about the problem that it solves and how it saves you time. You talk about the appearance as well. And then you talk about like ways you modified the product, like to make it easier to use or, and then show all the functions. There's a lot of things you can do in these videos and they don't have to be long YouTube like videos. And if you need ideas, um, read the reviews and, and answer the questions that people are asking, which is um, on the Amazon listing page as well. This will get easier over time with consistency. It might feel kind of weird at first, but once you do it over and over and over, it gets really easy and you'll get faster as well. All right, so now we're going to talk about the guidelines. I want to go over this because we want to do this the right way. We don't want to build a business where we end up getting our account taken down or getting banned or something like that. I've seen it happen for multiple reasons. So we're just going to go on the Amazon site and just read off these guidelines just so we know what we're doing. All right, so here's Amazon Influencers Video Content Guidelines. The video content guidelines cover the rules of the video submissions uploaded to Amazon as a participant Amazon Influencer Program. These videos must also comply with Amazon's community guidelines. Please note that the content guidelines may be modified from time to time, so you're encouraged to check back for updates. The following items are prohibited. External links do not include any websites, URLs, or calls to actions to ask viewers to take action on other sites. This does, this does not include promotion from your social media channels such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest. Actually tag products. So when you uh, review these, your items, you make sure you want to tag the right products. And it says only tag products that are clearly featured in your video can be confusing for customers to see the products that are not relevant or discussed in the video and your video will be rejected if the products do not match the content or right, next is unsupported actions do not ask for viewers to perform actions that are unsupported by amazon video players such as follow subscribe leave a comment turn on notifications or view video descriptions Pretty simple there, self-explanatory. All right, next is prices and promotions. Videos cannot contain prices, promotion information, discount claims, time-sensitive information. As I said before, customer reviews don't ask viewers to leave a positive customer review. Videos must, oh, this one, next one is unacceptable products. Videos must not include references to products not sold on Amazon. Videos may include products gifted to you by a brand, provided it to be sold on Amazon, and you clearly and conspicuously disclose the connection. I was paid, for example, I was paid for this post and video. So when a brand reaches out to you, sometimes they'll give you products. Um, when you review them, you have to disclose, this was gifted to me by so-and-so for my unbiased review. Or I was paid by a brand to review this product. Like you have to disclose that. Next one is Amazon Marks. Use of Amazon's electrical property such as logos and service names is strictly prohibited unless you have received or exp expressed written consent. See Amazon's conditions for use of details. So yeah, you don't want to be posting a bunch of Amazon logos all over social media with products. 
because uh, especially if you don't have any pres- uh, permission. Disclose private info. Disclose private information such as phone numbers, email addresses, or ask viewers to do so. Yeah, we can't do that. Defamatory language is pretty much self-explanatory. Views of products must not be defamatory, derogatory. Like, we can't be product X is much better than product Y, which is a piece of junk. <laughs> That's not acceptable doing stuff like that. Or right, they have something on video text. I used to get a lot of questions about this. And it says the video contains text issues such as spelling mistakes and grammatical errors in the video title, video description, or display in the video. So we can have that. And here's here's a talk about children. Content you share in the community must not be directed at children. Children products are eligible for uploaded videos, but content must not be directed toward children. If a child is shown the video, the child parents must be directly related to the products being discussed, and an adult must be included in the video. Exactly what I said before. Any nudity or sexual aggressive content containing minors, etc., swimwear, undergarments is strictly prohibited. Can't do that. Uh, false medical claims, like I said before, where we are not doctors, uh, vets, etc. You cannot claim a product is going to guarantee weight loss <laughs> and all that. Medical advice, yeah, same goes with that. Providing medical advice, referring negative. Negatively to professional medical advice. And then alcohol. They do not encourage you to feature or refer behavior suggested to irresponsible drinking. For example, grabbing wine bottle in a mock drunk manner and holding it to one's mouth. Even if obviously ingest is not permitted. And do not encourage alcohol consumption. And they have a lot of examples here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Then last here, uh, rights of infringement. Don't post content in a way that infringes the intellectual property of other property rights of others. Only post your own content. Content you have permission to use. For example, unless you have obtained permission from all the relevant third parties, do not Play music or images, artwork, or other audiovisual works in your videos. You should also avoid wearing clothes, jewelry, accessories with prominently visible branding if you don't have permission from the brand owner. Amazon will protect the customer's experience. In doing so, they'll reflect in the spirit, not merely to the letter of this Content policy. Amazon reserves the right to suspend, terminate your account, or pause or remove any content that we deem will be negatively affected for the viewer's experience. Whether or not the content has been explicitly prohibited by this content policy, in addition to this content policy, you must comply to the terms and conditions in the Amazon community guidelines. Well, there you have it. There's uh, been a lot of questions over stuff like that. This is where they have it. You pretty much just go to Google and type in Amazon Influencer Content Creator Guidelines. And now that we're through the community guidelines, let's get back to the video. So now next, the best part, probably what you've been waiting for, is how to scale to earn 2k 5k monthly and beyond and if you stay to the end i have a little gift for you guys that i'll be sharing with you all right we're gonna talk about the strategy so if i had to start over because when i first started i didn't have a video like this to watch and i didn't i had no idea what i was doing if i had to start over i'm gonna tell you what from what i've learned i'll review everything in my house 
the average person has at least 150 to 200 products in your house. And yeah, don't tell me like you don't because you got to really think out of the box. I'm talking about microwaves, air fryers, waffle makers, toasters, paper towel holders, um, deodorant, laundry uh, detergent. The list goes on. Um, fruit holders. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Bunch of utensils, knives. Like I can go like chairs. I can go for days. Like the easiest way to. So if I knew this, the easiest way to find these listings of the products in your home, when you go to um, Amazon on your phone, in the search bar, there's like a little square on the right, right inside the search bar. It's kind of like an Amazon lens. You just hit that button and take a picture of it. And it, if it's on Amazon, it'll find it. 80% of the time it's on Amazon. Pretty much like Walmart and Target. Then once you run out of the... Um, products you review in your home you can go to thrift stores garage sales Walmart, Target, Sam's Club these products don't have to be bought on Amazon they just have to be on Amazon you don't have to buy them directly yourself either and then after that you can go to a family friend's house, co-workers grandma, auntie you can go to their house with friends, I kind of like, it's like give and take with friends. I, a lot of people don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like if I be at a friend's house and they're like partying or something, I'll be like, hey, I'm, I'm doing this stuff for Amazon. It's okay if I just record 90 second videos of your stuff in your house. They're like, oh yeah, sure. And then I'll record a bunch of stuff and then I'll go home, mute all the videos and then do voiceovers to all the videos. Take a screenshot, take a thumbnail, and then I'll post a little title. We'll talk about titles in a minute. We're just going to keep going here. Here we go, post some videos. So you can post up to four videos of each product. I didn't know that when I first started. And Amazon actually, um, they push you to, they want you to do this. It helps their platform. It helps us earn more as well. Because they uh, once your videos are posted on Amazon, they kind of move them around all over the place. So sometimes it might not be on the listing right away. It might They might go to similar products in the lower bottom of the listing where people can still see it as well. And uh, the four types of videos, you can do unboxing. You can do assembly. You can do how it works. And then you can always come back a month or six months later like, doing a recap review on it those type of videos get a lot more engagement because people want to see how long these products last if they're investing money in the product that's something they will be interested in so with uh titles with these videos you kind of want to have some type of intriguing title something like the one thing you need to know about this air tool or quick look at this Blah blah blah. This tw- this bike really helped me. Like etc. Like something that makes oh what <clears throat> well one reason why I got this blah blah blah. And then people are like oh why why do you get that for? And then they'll click it and watch it. They're already gonna make a decision of buying it. They're already there to buy it. Their credit cards are open. They just want to look at the product basically. And you can always shoot three horizontals and shoot one vertical. See how it goes. It is a lot of testing it out. All right, categories. So all the products on Amazon are in different categories. And the range of the commissions uh, range from 2% to 10%. You got luxury, beauty, furniture, home, home improvement, lawn and garden, pet products, pantry business supplies once you have a nice category of like 50 to 100 products you can look at your analytics and see what's actually working and what category that you're getting your most commissions from you can focus more on that or you can bounce around in different categories as well 
and also outdoors. They have outdoor a lot of outdoor stuff on Amazon that you can get good commissions from and also tools. All right, next we're going to talk about quantity over quality. I know it's a lot of controversy with this type of stuff, especially on other platforms. Um, Amazon's a little bit different. Um, I want to tell you when I first started, I was focusing more on quality. I mean, quantity, because I wanted to get these videos out as fast as I could so I can start earning commissions faster. And then over time, I focus more on quality. Quality really helps when trying to attain brand deals because when brands want to look for a representative or influencer to make videos for their products, they're going to check out your storefront. So it's nice to focus on quality in the beginning, but at the same time, you kind of want to be strategic about that and be a little bit faster just so you can get your numbers up and get going. But let's talk about the different types of products. We have low ticket item products and high ticket. Um, some people just focus on high ticket. Some just focus on low. In my opinion, I would say focus on both because I've seen low ticket items like 25, but ranging between 10 to $50. You could make more off of those because they're getting a high sales volume, like 500 to 10 K monthly. Whereas just focus on high ticket, some of these high ticket items don't sell as often. But when, if, if you can find a high ticket item, like a couch bed frame or something like that, that's selling with high volume of sales is a, is a really good sweet spot. And then seasonal versus evergreen. I like to focus on evergreen products first. When I say evergreen, I'm talking about products that are bought. 365 days of the year and it doesn't matter what season it is hot cold or or holiday and a uh, seasonal is pretty much self-explanatory is pretty much just posting products for the certain holidays it's nice during the holiday but after that they kind of die off so I, I mostly try to do the evergreen first and then i jump into seasonal especially when i do like Shopping for friends and family and uh, Christmas items and stuff like that. Or like if I bought a bunch of decorations and stuff, I'll probably get the Christmas stuff out and re-record those. Or see if I'm still on the car the video listings and see how it's going. And then after you've built up your catalog so much, you want to be a lot more strategic. Strategic. You want to focus on products with that have at least two videos in their carousel. Usually um, these products have up to five slots for influencers and then they, they just rotate in and out from there but um, focusing on products that have only one or two videos is a nice sweet spot where you can earn fast and um i try to focus on products that's 4.5 star rating or 4.2 if you um go any lower than that it might not be getting a bunch of sales and then you'll have returns as well and you'll start going negative and uh we don't want that so that's my take on quantity over quality All right, another strategy here, partner up. So this can be a very fun activity for your significant other. Like your wife or husband. Or you can uh, ask your wife or husband, friend, if they have any friends they want, that will let you review their videos or view their products in their homes. Or you can make a, a team effort of it where you guys share the commissions together. I've seen there's like some group companies on there. You could pay a coworker or a neighbor for B-roll footage. When I say B-roll, it's like somebody just recording it and then seeing the video. And then you do your, voice, your voiceover, whatever, put your little quick edits on it. I've done that. Find someone who has like Airbnbs or someone who decorates homes and tries to sell them. Or talk to a real estate agent, something like that. They can let you come in there and just review stuff. I know there's a lot of there's some going over to the Airbnbs and just rent out Airbnb for a day, spend a couple hours in uh shooting reviews in the Airbnb. I know there's a couple influencers doing that as well. There's so many ways to attack this, which is what I like about it. You just did just do the style that works for you. 
Brand deals. All right, so once you get so much products on your page, brands, agents, sellers reach out to you. The difference between these are brands is the actual brand. The agent is somebody that works for the brand that's trying to find influencers to review products. And then sellers are like many sellers. And um, how they contact you is you could leave a social media contact on your storefront. I uh, I put my Instagram. I don't really put my Facebook. And they'll send you messages to see if you would review their items. The only downfall of that, some of these items aren't getting that much traffic. So the way that you can earn your time is actually charging these guys. <clears throat> you, you can charge them whatever you can, can negotiate. I know some people charge 15, some charge 20, some charge 50, some charge 100. Some charge more. It's really whatever you, you can negotiate. And there's some influencers that they just focus on brand deals and get a lot of product. And then they turn around and resell it. So, like, if you don't want to negotiate and you just want to collect free products, you can resell them on other platforms. That's the nice to add to your business model while you're earning from Amazon as well. Like Facebook Marketplace, eBay, uh, whatnot app. You go live on there. I heard that's a really good place to resell products, and they actually pay for the shipping as well. So next, we're going to talk about Amazon Promotions. Last year, they had a promotion called This or In That, where they were paying like $25 per video. And these were like short videos of doing product reviews where you're comparing two products in the same category. I know a lot of people made a lot of commissions from that rollout. They usually send out emails about these promotions that happen every other season. Um, They actually have right now called the Creator Connections Program. I'm not sure if they're still letting people in there or not, but it's where you can... um, You can post reviews and do campaigns for brands and you get like a higher commission on these products. So like if you're making like 5% on the Amazon Influencer Program and the Creative Connections Program, you could be making 20%, 30% from the same review video that you just posted like months ago. It's crazy stuff. And then Prime Day. Prime Days are huge if you have the right products reviewed. You can get a lot of fast transactions and commissions from that as well. And, oh yeah, Amazon always um also they'll send out emails about boosting your earnings offsite if you're posting on other social media platforms and stuff like that. If you have following somewhere else or you're just sharing reviews on other platforms. I know Amazon likes that. And it really helps your storefront. We went over went over what is the Amazon Influencer Program. Why this business model. We talked about how you can get approved. We went through the guidelines. And we talked about how you can earn your first payout. And how to scale. To turn this into the full time income. I hope this video really helps. You get started. You can basically just run with this. And be earning your commissions within two weeks. Congrats. You made it here. If you made this far, you're probably the 5% that's serious about your future. Actually, you want to do something with your life. For that, I got a gift for you. It's a free step-by-step PDF. It's going to be in my free community in the link below. Again, this this training, um, a lot of people charge a lot of money for this. Either 500 to 1000 or 1500 or more. I'm going to do this all for free. No pitch here. Just giving out value. Trying to help everybody the best I can. And there's a quote by Bruce Lee. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. By Bruce Lee. Really good quote from a successful martial artist I used to watch growing up. And that's all we have here. Let's get to work and let's get it. Again, we have, if you need help doing this or want to join the free community, 
have questions, you can hop in there or you can just go go out and start getting to the program and start earning. Hope this video helped a lot. Helped everyone. Help you get to your goals. Again, I'm Cameron Cole. And let's get it. I'll see you in the next one.